Differentiation of inverse sine functions, leaving certain higher level maths. If y is sine inverse 5x over 3, find dy dx. Firstly, it's important to understand that sine inverse 5x over 3 is an angle. So effectively what we're doing here is we're finding the derivative of the angle y. The formula for doing this is here in yellow, that the derivative of sine inverse x over a is 1 over the square root of a squared minus x squared. We're going to use the chain rule to solve this problem because we have 5x over 3, not x over 3. We're going to treat the 5x as if it is the x in a formula and our denominator is 3, so that will be our a. And then we'll get the derivative of the inside of 5x at the end and multiply it. So using the formula, the formula says it's 1 over the square root of a squared, so that's going to be 3 squared, minus x squared, so we're calling that 5x to the squared. And then we multiply this by the derivative of the inside, which is derivative of 5x is 5. Now th this is our solution, we're just going to tidy it up a little bit. So on the top we have 5, that's the square root of 9 minus 25x squared. This approach tends to always work for inverse trigonometric functions. 